Hey, welcome back to IndieK 2015. I am Rob Mayo, and here with me is Alexi with Ultimate Rock Paper Scissors. All right. Uh, the most ultimate of the ultimate, or ERPs. Or ERPs for Erps, the cool guys. The yeah, cool yeah. guys, so I cannot call it ERPs because I'm not nearly cool enough. Tell us about, obviously right. we know rock, paper, scissors. Yes, rock uh, kills scissors, scissors kills paper, paper exactly. kills uh, rock for some odd reason. Uh, covers it up, I believe, yep. is what we were all known by. But obviously this is ultimate. There's a ton of graphics. It's beautiful. This is a card game. Go for it. All right, so basically Ultimate Rock, Paper, Scissors, as, as you said, it's a mashup of Rock, Paper, Scissors, old school, uh -huh. with a collectible card game. Nice. A very casual collectible card game. Okay. So basically how the mechanic works is it's very simple. Each player has a mat, and the mat has a Rock, Paper, and Scissors slot there. Okay. So you fill those slots in with your cards from your deck. Okay. And basically you guys play Ultimate Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh. So how you do that How is, do we know that? Yeah, yeah. How, do you, how you do that is you don't do it the old fashioned way, like Rochambeau shoot, right? Right. So what we do is we do the ultimate fist bump. Yeah. So you Whoa. basically do a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, Slow it down for me. Right. Ultimate fist bump. Yes. So what we do is we extend our hands for a fist bump and then just a love tap because people do like hurt really their hurt. knuckles and everything. And then just shoot right shoot. away. Oh, uh, yes. Interesting. So depending on what hand symbol you actually throw indicates what card you want to play on your playmat. Okay. So interesting. there is a rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors. Uh, slot on the mat. We played scissors, both of yeah. us, and then we play those cards. Based okay. Yeah, so, yeah. okay. So we did the love tap. Yes, we, we did threw the some tap. scissors. Yep. What's happening next? So we yes. have the cards that are. What we are these have cards? The cards over there. Yeah. But scissors and scissors is not too exciting because, sure. as we know, that is a tie in rock, sure. paper, scissors, right? But what happens? I mean, where the game really shines is when somebody actually wins and somebody loses. So okay. basically, the winner of the of the round or the clash, as we want to call it, is going to be able to resolve their card. Okay. So the, the card's um, abilities and you know, all their stats activate okay. when you win, okay. and then basically the loser just discards their card, and okay. that card's pretty useless. And then those cards are replaced from the deck, and you can go the next round. Okay, okay, let's 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 roll it back. Okay. Obviously, you do have some of the cards yes, in your hands. Yes, some of the hand. cards right here. Uh, yep. So if I happen to, uh, uh, you know, I I threw paper. Yes. And you threw scissors. Right. You get your card. What is your card going to do? Right. Okay. So basically the game is all about reaching 20 victory points. Okay. 20 victory. Right? That's a lot of victory points. Yeah. Well, it's actually a pretty short game. Though. Really? Right. Okay. Yes. It's okay. like, it, it's averaging like eight minutes for first timers. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten it as short as three minutes. Oh, wow. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, hit, uh, what he calls victory points in the game are called hits. Hits, okay. So basically you're playing heroes and you're fighting these giant arenas and you're trying to hit your opponent and basically blow them away. Okay. Right? So each card, um, if I could show it, sure. right, it has a name, it has a hit value or a victory point okay. value. Okay, let, right let me just look okay, at okay. this one right here. This right one here, is called, giant. This is called Giant. It says yep. stun any two arms at yep. the start of the next turn. Yes. Uh, it also has a four. Four, what is this symbol? In yeah, the, that is uh, the hit symbol. This is a hit symbol. So this one hits for four. Yes. And then I have a lightning bolt with a five yeah, on it. Yeah, that is called energy. Okay, right. hold on. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Hey, okay, it's a let's, lot simpler than you okay, think. Okay, okay. No, we're going to break this down. So four hits. Okay, yes. let's start with that. Okay. What is the four hits? That's Right. So when you play this card, for example, and then you won that particular round. Sure. Yep. You gain the four hits. So you gain the four hits. Yep. So this is the four hits that are going into your victory points yes. for the 20. So that's right. what makes it much shorter. Yes. As exactly. you said, I don't have to win 20 rounds. Yep. I just have to get enough, of, like five of these. That is exactly And I'm a winner. Yep. Okay, excellent. All right. Okay, now we're going on to the next one. Now so we go to energy. Energy, first, okay, energy. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So okay. energy is sort of a comeback mechanic. Okay. Because energy is one when you lost that round. Okay, so energy, okay. So I threw paper and I have I have this guy is on there. He was my paper. Yep. But I get five energy. So what can I do with If you energy? lost. If I lost. If the opponent played scissors and you lost, right. instead of getting your hits, you get your energy. So what do I get for energy? Right. So energy is actually used, like I said, as a comeback mechanic because you only actually gain it when you lose. Okay. And you actually play heroes in the game. Okay. So there are the yellow cards right here. Okay. All right. And their abilities, which are basically effects in the card, cost energy. Oh, okay. Right. So in the future, if you win a round, right? and if you have enough energy, and you can just play them. You can them. play now the you ability. Do, how do you, so this one, this is a uh, crane, yep. take the top three arms of your discard pile and put them in any number on top of the loadout in any order. Yep. So you basically 
the, the cards that have been discarded, you can sort of like grab a couple of those, yes. put them in top, and you know exactly what you're drawing exactly. into. Exactly, yep. Um, so when do you play this card? Right, so only when you have enough energy and if you won the previous round. So oh. before the ultimate fist bump, before the clash, you'd want to use your ability, right? And away. you have to have won the previous yes. round. So it's a reward thing as well. So you might have lost a few rounds before, Oh. But since you want this one, then you, you can have actually the use your your. Yes. Uh, so that's sort of like the comeback. Exactly. You have to have something that's really good yep. that goes into it, yep. and that goes into the energy. Now, yeah. uh, the now, effect. The effect. Now yep. we have the effect in the middle. Uh, right. Stun any two arms at the start of the next tu yes. turn. Right. What are the arms? Okay. So arms are actually the cards in the game. Okay. So we're going more for a sort of weapon theme. So the deck in the game is called a loadout, uh -huh. right? And the cards are actually called arms. Okay. So because we were doing you know fist bumps and stuff, we call them arms, uh -huh. like a weapon, sure. like ammunition or whatever. So that's what arms are. But basically the effect is also triggered when you win with that card. And so only when you win. Only when I win yep. with the card. So for this, uh, it is I have two arms, so I can stun two of their cards. Right. So basically, I can figure out like what they're going to throw exactly. next time. Exactly. You're the first one to ever figure that out, what <laughs> stunning means, right? <laughs> so, so just in case everyone else yeah. is just not quite up there. Uh, so I, uh, you threw your, your right. scissors, yes. and I threw paper. Yep. You mm -hmm. got this. Okay. Let's say you got this card. Okay. Sure. And so you're looking at me, and you're like, OK, uh, you know, you obviously like to throw paper. Yep. We're going to get you to throw paper again. Yes. We're stunning your rock, and we're stunning your scissors. scissors. And exactly. now you, and with that, you have to throw paper. You have to throw paper. So exactly. you know exactly going into oh, it. Yeah. And I'm going to win it again for throw sure. my scissors. Exactly. And I'm going to put the card that I want down on scissors because I know that one's going to hit. Exactly. Oh my God. This Precisely. Is like, yeah. This, this is, is actually the most powerful card in this the game is, right now. You just gave me the most powerful card. Yes, in the, this course. is a ridiculous yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. There are cards that stun just one card. Mm -hmm. Those are not too fun. So no, I wanted to give you the most like powerful a, like card. Like a 50-50 oh, yeah. sort of chance. Yes, exactly. But even then, like you know exactly, it's like you can stun like the one card that's yes, going to that's like come against cool. you. Yep. So it's going to be like a draw or like exactly. at least a win coming yeah. out of it. Uh, so the question comes down to like what does happen during a draw? Right. In a draw, uh -huh. you actually gain both players gain victory and gain energy. Okay. Just to move the, for the game forward, right? Right. Just to keep moving the game forward. Excellent. Sorry about that. So you have, okay, so it's 20 points. We have energy, we have stuff. Uh, this is a lot of stuff. I also noticed that on this box, yes. uh, it's not just like two players that you usually uh, notice. It's yeah. a four, or four players. players. That's right. How does a four player rock, right. paper, ultimate yes. rock, paper, scissors right. work. So actually, it is more of a co-op game then. It's a two on two, right? So it's basically basically the same idea. It's a race to a number of points. But instead of 20 points now, it's a race to 40 points. Okay. And basically, you can use your card's effects to assist your, your teammate, Interesting. right? That's basically how it is. Um, so to go along with this, or we're, we're calling it a casual, casual card Club game. Card. Uh, the decks that you you have in here are there ones that you build or is it like I can so like what is the strategy that you want right. behind like you have different strategies you have different themes like what are like what are some of the ideas behind the decks right. that you have in the game right okay so basically this um, edition of the game is actually the indicate edition of the game okay I mean, you will see oh. but at the final uh, in the final release of the game we plan to have. 80 unique cards in the game. Okay. And eight, those 80 unique cards are actually um, divided into eight distinct sets of 10 cards. Okay. So the collectible aspect, collectible card game aspect of, the, aspect of the game is also pretty casual because you don't swap out single cards for single cards. You swap out sets of 10 cards for sets, sets of, of 10, 10 cards. cards. Interesting. And your deck is only composed of 30 cards. So that's basically three sets of cards. So you're looking at like a third of your deck just yes. being like pulled out each time. Exactly. And so what are the ideas behind these decks that right. you have? So they are going to be themed. All of these sets of 10 cards are going to be themed. So maybe like robots, maybe mythological creatures, maybe gods and all of these things. Just to keep it interesting and keep everything cohesive. And it really depends on your play style, on which sets of 10 cards you actually want to include in your 30 deck. So like, 
Pretty let's cool. go. Let's go back to robots. Yeah. So I have a deck of ten cards that are yeah. robots. Right. How are robots going to play differently than another yeah. deck? Right. So I would think that robots, since they are fueled by energy, mm -hmm. right, they could steal energy from your opponent. Oh, look so at it, that. they probably will not be able to play their hero abilities all that much. And you can ba basically steal all those energy, and you can play your hero abilities. Nice. A lot. And so yeah. you're trying to get them to steal their, like, basically take the hero ability. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, what other ideas, like what other sort right. of like mechanics do you have? So there is one particular set of cards that I'm really, really in love with. Uh -huh. So it's it's the God deck, right? The so God there deck. is going to be this really uber powerful card uh -huh. that gives you 20 hits. Oh, so wow. basically just hit once and you win. Right. But all but... the rest of the cards are useless. They're oh, like really? zero hits and zero energy. Uh -huh. So you're just really hoping that that one card comes out and you, and you win instantly. And you just you have win. to have like, just make this happen. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. And make sure that you actually win. Yes, you make sure you win. Win exactly. when you're actually using right. that one card in yes. order to, in that deck. That's go. That's that's incredible. Uh, so, uh, like you said, you yeah. have sort of the indicate version right yes. now. Right. When is the the full version right. come out? So we're aiming to actually crowdfund the game by the end of the year. If not, probably first quarter of 2016. So from then on, we'll take it from there. So releasing. Um, 10 card pack expansions all over the place. But yeah, probably the safest way is to have the final version done by 2016, first quarter. Well, there you go. If you happen to like your rock, paper, scissors in the ultimate variety, uh, make sure you look for it at the beginning of the first quarter of next year. Thank you right. for talking. Thank you so us. much, Rob. Pleasure.